Good morning. So I'm trying to try this again. I'm outdoors this time. Can you hear me okay? All right. This morning I'm working with the wrap cardigan. Video was terrible inside, and I don't know what the fricky I'm doing, but I'm trying anyway. Um, hopefully Angelina will help me later with this. The uh, wrap cardigan has been around for forever. I'm wearing one, and I just have it pulled up kind of asymmetrical here with a pin or a brooch. And that's a really fun way to wear it because it uh, it gives you a nice drapey look without too much overwhelming you, especially when you're a little bit vertically challenged like myself. One trick on the pin that I'll show you is the little rubber tab you get with your earrings sometimes, save it. And uh, slide your brooch on or your pin, slide the little rubber uh, grommet on, and then secure your latch. Latches are notorious for coming undone, and you lose it. So this way, even if it's undone, you're going to hold on to that brooch or that pin that you cherish so much. So the convertible cardigan, the wrap cardigan, it's usually made out of a very, very stretchy uh, jersey material. So you can totally abuse this piece of clothing and mix it up. Uh, there's at least 20 ways to wear this. I'm going to show you this one and the second one today, and then we'll come back next week, hopefully, and it won't be too cold to stand outside and do this, because indoors isn't working for me. Uh, what I've done here is this is being worn backwards. Yes, you can wear it backwards. You can wear it upside down, but we'll get into that later. So I've taken yet another brooch and put it at the neckline to give a little bit of drama, and this would be the back of the cardigan right there. This is what you're looking at right now. So to achieve this look, I've used a bangle, and that's a little bit hard to see in the video, but it's kind of got the, the cardigan wrapped around it. Not a bagel, like I said previously, but a bangle. <laughs> yes, my English is my English. It's not the English language of this <laughs> anyone else. So, here we go. I love when you're when you're doing an open back. It puts some drama back there. So this is like a little mesh uh, bodysuit. See, you, bare skin is great, but the peekaboo factor is even better. So here's your cardigan, normally worn like this, but not today. Today we're gonna slip this puppy on backwards. You know what I love about the wrap cardigan? They make a great tunic with your leggings. And darn, those leggings aren't going away. So, <clears throat> cover up the back side. So I'm around back here. I just pick up the two long tails. Do a crisscross. Around front. A lot of times, I will just wear this knotted. Usually off to the side because I don't want to add any more to my groceries carrying up front. <laughs> it's bad enough as it is. Of course, there's a way to stop that. I'm not going to do it. So a cute little knot up front. Always off to the side a little bit. Or like I was showing you earlier, I just take a bangle. Wrap it around. Just taking the tails and wrapping them around. It gives you kind of the rosette look without the bulk. You know, and people look. If they see something they like, they're gonna they're gonna check it out all the way top to bottom. So give them a little detail. A little pop of lace in back, a little rosette in front, a kind of awesome broken brooch, but it works for the neck here. Used to be a cross. Okay, so there's your wrap cardigan, backwards, V it in back, with a little pop of sacks. In the weeks to come, I'll show you a couple other looks. Uh, this is actually uh, upside down, a nice color block on that, and a little shorter. 
And then this one back here is giving you the Grecian bare shoulder look. And really, really fun. And there again, I've used one of my pins or brooches on the back to attach it to the sleeve, which becomes the waistband. So, enjoyed seeing you this morning. I hope you did find something to sip on Sunday. Catch you next week. Hopefully better. <laughs> Bye now.